there's something magical about speed. It excites everyone. From the moment they switched from underhand to overhand in the early days of the sport, speed became a pitcher's greatest weapon, the ability to propel a baseball as rapidly as possible towards the plate. Some pitchers had the innate ability to throw extraordinarily hard, leaving the best scientific minds of the time to try and answer the question, just how fast is fast? I understand that you once conducted a speed test. Yes, uh, about back in 1938 or 9, I believe, uh, we had a speed test conducted in Chicago. In the decades before the invention of the radar gun, that wasn't so simple. Here's the test that shows which is the faster, the racing motorcycle or the pitched ball. Coming down the highway at a speed of 86 miles per hour, the policeman crosses the pitching line and there they go. Bingo! I don't know what your speedometer reads now, but that ball was traveling better than 100 miles an hour. That's plenty fast. Today, equipped with 21st century technologies, the best scientific minds of our time are attempting to answer a different question. What is the upper limit of how fast a human being can throw a baseball? And how can they tap every bit of that potential? Exhibit A, the Toronto Blue Jays' blue chip rookie, Nate Pearson. The one number that's been kind of put out there is the 110. Do I think Nate can throw 110? 106? I think he's definitely gonna throw 105, maybe 106. I don't, I know that, I know personally he said on camera that he wants to throw 110. At the end of the day, the limiting factor is that ulnar collateral ligament. Some people have said that when you look at the tissue properties of that ligament, 110 is probably the limit, and you'd see a rupture at that point in time. It takes something like seven pounds of pressure to snap a ligament, but when you throw a ball 90, nine pounds of pressure goes through that ligament every time. So basically every time we throw a ball over 90 miles an hour, it's a gift. In the history of the Blue Jays, there have been only a handful of pitchers who have broken the magical 100 miles per hour barrier. Billy Koch, Brandon Morrow, Roberto Osuna, Miguel Castro, Jeremy Jeffress. If you start talking to Blue Jays people about high-end pitching prospects in the organization, Nate Pearson's usually the first name you hear. The last time I saw him in a prospect all-star game was in the Arizona Fall League. He hit 104. He's got more in there. The next one has already hit 104 in a minor league game and 105 in a side session. And more than any of the others, seems born to test the upper limits of fastball potential. I think it just stems back to my work ethic and uh, my drive to, to be the best pitcher I can be. Physiology is certainly part of it. A high school growth spurt transformed Pearson's body into the prototype of a modern starting pitcher. But he was also driven to succeed and quietly confident. There's a fire inside that kid that makes him want to be better than everybody else. You almost need to try to slow him down sometimes and say, hey, relax, take a day off. But he just, he doesn't have that mentality. As a high school sophomore, Pearson hit 90 for the first time. Then one day, with one pitch, something snapped. You say like a kid has elbow pain, you think the worst, like, oh, Tommy John, you know, like, but it wasn't even in that area, it was on the outside, so that's when I was like, oh, it's probably not too bad, it's probably like a tricep tendinitis or something. And then we went to the doctor, took an x-ray, he comes back in and he's like, it's broken. He said there's two ways to go, you can let the, the bone heal, which means you just need to rest it, so the other one was to put a screw. And so we, we opted for the screw. Whenever you have surgery, there's a chance that you won't, it won't come back, you know, but uh, um, I just had to rely on my faith and know that, you know, baseball doesn't define me. You know, it's just something I have, I have a passion for. It's an honor to welcome you to the 2017 draft. Even though his velocity jumped into triple digits, Enough doubts remained about the hardware in his elbow and the level of competition that he had faced. With the 28th selection of the 2017 MLB Draft, the Toronto Blue Jays select Nate Pearson. 
the Toronto Blue Jays were thrilled to find him. And for the Pearson family, it was a day to celebrate. Uh, it gives me chills just thinking about it, because this, this day my, my dream started to come true. It was every bit as exciting as you could imagine. I mean, it's just, it's just exhilarating. It was just, it was, it's hard to put into words. Everything changed that day. There would be one more setback. This one, a complete fluke. Oh, this is not good news. Blue Jays flame-throwing prospect Nate Pearson is likely out for the season with a forearm injury. I get drilled in the second inning by a comebacker, and I was just like, man, I knew that was my year. <laughs> it was done. When it happened, I was just, it didn't look good. So it's kind of, you get that feeling of, oh no, this is, this is not going to turn out well. He fell to the ground, holding his arm. It was, it was just like, the whole stadium just went, oh. And I had to figure out how can I get, how can I use this to get better? And I used it to get more mentally strong and learn how to handle my body better. Preparing for the 2020 season and his likely Major League debut, Pearson and his team kept up their routines through the pandemic shutdown. Hard work is still a huge part of it, but where physiology and effort leave off, cutting edge sports science takes over. The reason you're seeing this huge spike in the number of 100 mile an hour throwers is just the incredible dedication of player development programs. They're being monitored for their workload, they're being you know, put through different biomechanics assessments. But there's not a magic recipe that's gonna take you from 95 to 100 and keep you healthy. I think we're intoxicated by average fastball velocity. We're seeing more max effort pitching. These guys are throwing as hard as they can for as long as they can. The highest recorded speed of a pitch in a major league game is 105.8 miles an hour by Aroldis Chapman. St. Louis's closer, Jordan Hicks, has twice hit 105. They're both relievers, though. It's different when you know you're only going to throw a handful of max effort pitches in any outing. But Pearson and his people think that record is going to fall, that he's going to be the one to break it, and that the new standard will be one those old-time fireballers could never have imagined. He is going to have a great big league career, and he's going to throw as hard, if not harder, than just about any starter in the game. I think it would be very cool to be the hardest thrower ever, but it's not the only dream I have.